Okay, so welcome back guys. This is another episode of our Chatting While Striking podcast. Uh, honestly, I don't know which episode we are on. It's probably like six or seven. So, but uh, not important. The important thing is that we finally resume. So I think the last time we had a podcast was like months ago, uh, probably in like March or February when I was still actively doing videos. So today we have a new guest with us. We have uh, Coach Carlin Lee. So Coach Carlin Lee is known as the bowling psychologist, as you can see on his background there and uh so he has been a level two coach since 2017 and actually has been doing a little bit of content so just uh maybe i share my screen actually i mean the audience can see it but just i'll share my screen as well okay so coach carlin has his uh yep this is his let me bring out the screen a bit so this is his uh, youtube so Carlin Lee Bowling Psychologist, you guys can search it there. He has his website, he has his uh, Instagram, which is Bowling Psychologist. And obviously we have our usual head, usual guest, uh, which is the permanent guest, uh, Coach, uh, Coach Neo. So Coach Neo, his, uh, all his social media handles are known as Simply Bowling. And uh, Simply Bowling has hit more than 687 subscribers on his YouTube channel and uh, going to 700 soon. So very soon he will actually exceed me and YouTube subscribers will be very happy when that happens. Then obviously he is more active. He's quite active on his Instagram as well. Then you see Simply Bowling's Instagram, um, 188 followers, pretty good. Ooh, has storm balls there. Then has this nice summit ball there. Then, oh, this is Carlene's Facebook and so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, maybe other than myself and my introduction, maybe uh, Carlin, you can talk a bit uh, talk a bit about yourself. Yes, recording as well. Mm. Yeah, so uh, just a little bit of introduction. I, I think I went into, I came into psychology because of bowling. Yeah, mm -hmm. so when I was in uh, JC, I was doing, I was doing, uh, I was in the chess club and I was doing bowling as well. Mm -hmm. um, but then after that, I was thinking about how can, how can all these mind games be used in 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 this sport and in these games that I'm playing. So that's why I pursue and I went on into uh psychology and even went to Australia to do my masters in uh sports psychology. Yeah, so that was way back more than ten years ago since I finished my masters. Uh. yeah. So currently, um, I. I am a registered psychologist with the Singapore Psychological Society as well as a uh, approved supervisor. So I do have um, people who I'm supervising for um, their internships or, or, you know, for their practices as well. Yeah. Mm, but, so but for, for, for internships for like uh, undergrads or like master students, postgrad students uh, who are usually, going uh, through usually psychology. Usually doing like their masters like in counseling. Uh -huh. Yeah, post, usually postgrad lah. Yeah. Mm. So on the side, I do a bit of uh teaching as well, um, like like lecturing and, and uh, as well as coaching for bowling as well. Yeah, so quite a little bit of um yeah, around <laughs> like doing many things as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So very, very well qualified as a psychologist. Then okay, just uh maybe just update you no know, like life in general, like it's been June holidays almost ending. So uh, have you guys been on holiday? Like what's been happening? So maybe we start with Coach Neil first. Uh, hello everyone. So for myself, it's been a busy week or actually a busy month so because school holidays, um, the COE programs for bowling is still going on. So it's the usual, every single day, every single weekends are packed on coaching. And then we had, we extended out to the Singapore Open. So that one also took place in the June holidays. And I was down there bowling it seeing the kids bowl, seeing them improve, even giving them some homework and they actually get back to me with like, oh yes, coach, after this tournament, we need, I want to go and train my spares. I want to train my accuracy or my swing, this and that. So they they get better and they actually um, understand, you know, bowling is not just about getting a strike. You know, there's so many more factors that can help you or affect you. So that was... Um, what, what one of the key things that was done over the this June holidays, and then yeah, other than that, it's all life as usual. Mm, so never go overseas holiday. Eh? Not yet, but next month, Ju uh, July, I'm going to Taiwan. Because June is your busy month, last of the sale. Yeah, yeah. How about yourself, Kalin? Uh, when holidays? 
Um, I no, not really. Uh, I just finished my. I think because I I have another full time work as well, so yeah, June has been really really packed with different things on my full time work to the point that I can't even go down to see the you know the international open. Oh, uh, although it's very um, although I work very near to the Masjid Club, but I can I but I can't go down. Okay, that's super uh, yeah, busy. Every day I'm just scrolling through, you know, scrolling through Instagram, oh, shoot you, Facebook. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also see see how people play or see the pictures. Uh. So, yeah, so can't really uh, go down uh, during this period because quite busy with different things at work. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I seen uh, by coming about watching YouTube because uh, Singapore Bowling Federation does actually live stream um, the Singapore Open, but unfortunately only... Right now, they only live stream the masters. They used to live stream the qualifiers, but now they only live stream the masters. Um, my other source for watching live streams is um, Terence Yao. Uh, so shout yeah. out to YouTube channel Terence Yao. T E. Uh, you guys can search it up. Uh, yeah. literally search his name Terence T E R E N C E then space Y A W. So if I remember correctly, that time a few years ago, we did ask him like uh, what he does. So I think Terence uh, Yao is a bit on the older side. He's an older gentleman. He actually works for Asian Bowling Federation, if I'm not wrong. Like um, then which is why he gets access to be able to live stream various tournaments. So recently he live stream things like Hong Kong Open. He is currently live streaming the Macau Open. Hong Kong Open ended Macau Open. Then before that he live stream. Uh, he wasn't here. He didn't live stream Singapore Open because since I think SBF Singapore Bowling Federation live streamed it themselves. He live streamed before that was what was the tournament before that? The uh, Indonesia Open is it or Philippines Open before Singapore Open? Some something uh, Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysia Open, Open was just before Malaysia Open. Malaysia yeah. Open, yeah, he live stream Malaysia Open, uh, and then I think we probably Indonesia or Philippines Open. That was before that. Then I know the next upcoming one after Macau Open will be uh Thailand Open, right? Yes. Yes. So he, they will probably live stream Thailand Open as well. So for you no know, the viewers who are no fan of um professional bowling or Asian bowling, you can uh, subscribe to Terence Yao's channel. Quite quite good content. Is is he a like a videographer by he, I I don't know his actual job like but probably handles uh at least like social media for Asian Bowling Federation and stuff like that. Yeah, but okay. it seems to be as a staff like, of the Asian Bowling Federation, which is why you get access to the ABF circuit tournaments. Because what they are considered under ABF. Yeah. Mm. Actually after that one, the next tournament to look out for will be the, the Asian youth Asian Asian juniors in Singapore in August. Oh, yeah? Oh yeah. Oh, it's oh, August. Time. August is quite a while away, lah. Yeah. Yeah, because Thai Open will be quite soon, right? Thai Open should be in July. I mean, now yeah. it's already end of July. July. Yeah. So Thai Open. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Technically, once already in July, yeah, lah. August isn't that long. Mm. Mm, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Then maybe we can move on. We can talk about any any new balls. So I know, Coach, you, know, you just you bought a summit yourself. Yeah. How's the ball? The new goat. <laughs> it's amazing. There's is uh I don't know what to say, man. This ball has unlimited range. Ah, uh, you're saying that it's very versatile, right? Yeah. So like um on normal normal league nights, I'm able to play even st starting at 20, standing at 20. So I'm gonna lay down about 15, 12, 15 mm -hmm. in that area, and it's, mm -hmm. it's doable. And then I can move all the way in until like 40, standing at 40, laying down, you know, no issues, hooking the entire lane. This ball loves to hook. Mm, so it's like, that means if you stand at 20, lay down 15, so you're playing what, second arrows? Yeah. Between second and third arrow. You can go a 10-10 line. Oh, you can play 10-10. Oh. Yeah. So you can... This ball is very clean, but very strong at the back end. Mm, but it's a symmetrical reactive symmetric ball, right? Ball. Yeah. yeah. Symmetric hybrid. Eh? Oh, symmetric hybrid. Okay. Yeah. So that's why that explains how it's a little bit cleaner. So it's, so that means it's a bit cleaner than the phase two, right? Because phase two is symmetric yeah. reactive. Solid. Uh, symmetric solid reactive, correct. So it's a bit cleaner. So it goes a little bit longer because it's hybrid. But yeah. it has a very strong back end. Yeah. So a lot of them, a lot of um people, they try to to compare summit with the high road. Uh, sorry, summit with the phase two. Mm -hmm. I 
personally felt that was not the best comparison because I don't think phase two is one of the is not like the best goat ball, but that's their polls, like their views. Like. So mm-hmm. I, I I thought a closer match to that will be the high road OG, which was also is also undisputed as one of the, the goat balls. Uh because it's a because it's a high high hybrid, hybrid is it? Oh yeah. So, compare hybrid, yeah. Hybrid, like. hybrid to hybrid mm-hmm. and um the key difference is one is a TX23 that is for summit and then for the high road itself is the R2S cover stock. So R2S is able to give give you the length. It's very clean. Then so I placed I actually drilled up these two balls and you know put in side by side comparison mm. and submit bits high road hands down. Mm. Is is okay. is the T, R2S. Like, like you're saying the TS twenty three right yeah. for yeah, the TX yeah. twenty three right TX twenty three is it hybrid like a, mm. is it like a strong cover stock or? They have yet to release this because this is a brand new cover stock. Mm, yeah. yeah. The the previous one is TX sixteen. That's on on phase two. Mm, yeah. Well, I said yet to release, but it's on the summit. But yeah, as in they haven't released the strength chart, the cover stock chart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a strength chart. Yeah. 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 So like definitely TX sixteen will be for phase two, which is something that is like you know a bit. Oh, how is it? How many? Seven years ago. Versus mm. about uh, the cover stock TX23, which is right now. So there's going to be a huge difference there. Uh, uh, the better technology. Yeah, in terms of technology. Yeah. But then again, this is hybrid. The TX16 is solid reactive. Uh. Yeah. So, so, so there are many measures. Yeah. Variations. Because the TX16 mm. is also spread around the, the other face, face balls. The other face balls are a mixture of like pearl sure. and yeah. solid, numbers. right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I personally felt that using a phase two to compare with a uh, summit is not that close because one is a solid, one is a, a hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. But the core uh, though, the core... Similar to IQ. Yeah. It's a centripetal yeah, core. It's a centripetal AI core. IQ bowling ball. Mm. Click on any IQ ball to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball. It's very, very similar to IQ. You're right. Mm. IQ core is is it bigger or, or it could be the same? Uh, actually, there's it's no way we can tell. It's actually mid size core. It's not a huge core. Yeah, the it's just the different show, like, The different show is much higher. You see, yeah, different show uh, much higher, a, obviously. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. a point oh five six versus a point oh two nine, right? For the fifteen pound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for so, for summit, yeah. all balls are at two four six and o uh zero point zero five six. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Correct. Or 14, 15, 16. Or 14, 15, 16, which is which 14, is quite 15, incredible uh, to be able to maintain the same differential throughout all three weight. Yeah. Which is, I don't think it has been done before. Yep, mm. so that's the mm. special one. Yeah, so they, they have a way to engineer the core such that 14, 15, 16 will maintain basically the same core. Yes. That means they, they don't cut it down. Because I think with the older balls, uh, from 15 to 14, definitely there's a little bit of cut down, which is why we lose a bit of differential there. Yeah. Mm, so there's some mm? now looking at IQ, IQ actually IQ oh yeah actually also got difference uh. 15 yeah. and 14 surprisingly 14 differential is higher that's the first time I've seen uh, so there, there are some balls that, that gives higher differential on uh, on lighter weight on 14 pound so uh, that's why some of the PBA bowlers that step, they step down to 14 pound instead of 15 for the higher yeah. differential Ooh. And then they play around with the different depth of um drilling the finger inserts and the thumb mm. inserts. So then it gives an even higher post drill differential. Hey. Actually, actually wow, measure. Summit's RG is the same throughout 14, 15, 16. Same yeah. RG, same differential. So they really manage to engineer a way whereby they don't cut down the core at all eh, while going down in weight. So it's exactly the same core. 
Mm. Wow. And the ball smells like sneakers. Ah, yeah, sneakers that's true. That's true. So I smelled the ball. Yeah, it smells yeah. like a sneakers, mm-hmm. chocolate sneakers bar. Very tasty. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It smells like a chocolate sneakers bar. Next yeah, time you... That's why the ants comes to my room, comes to the ball, and then they can't find chocolate. Really? <laughs> like, really, yeah, ants come to your room? No, la, just no la. Okay, but possible, <laughs> la, possible. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. this is one of the newer balls. I've seen this ball at versus um, um, Absolute, which is the second latest ball from mm-hmm. Storm. So, um, but the thing is Absolute was, I, I, I've also thrown Absolute, but it's not my layout, someone else's layout. And then I found that, yeah, although this ball, it can really go very, very long, but it's a bit snappy at the back. Yeah, absolutely it's snappy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've I've seen it been thrown by one of my students before, yeah. Mm. Very snappy. It was like Is too... it because of the R2S deep, like you're saying? No, RTS deep gives you the length. It goes okay. longer. Every so. But it's ASIM. Ma. So yeah. normally my reaction to ASIM is that it rolls a bit earlier. The the differential numbers Summit has a higher differential, but you're saying that absolute feels snappier, is it? Yeah, I think it's due to the surface. Oh, ooh. yeah. Because it's yeah. also a hybrid, but the key difference is this one is the R2S deep. So from my understanding, if you're throwing a ball really hard down the lanes, you're going to try as a, as a two-hander. And then it, if it's going to be able to go straight down for so long, Mm. The en- the energy is being stored inside there is gonna shoot, and it's gonna create a a a more aggressive reaction at the at the back. Yeah, uh, makes sense. I think, I think it's the same. I I think it's the same depending on the lane condition as well. And, and the yeah, that, that definitely plays a part. Yeah, yeah, because but... like like last night I was bowling at I was last night I was bowling on a I don't know I don't know how familiar you are with uh with some of the oiling patterns and last night I was playing with uh Kigo. Middle road V two. Oh yeah, yeah, and and it's very dry on the outside, uh, very clean on the outside, um, but it's a bit short, like like I think thirty seven to thirty nine feet, something like that, and then thirty nine feet, uh, thirty nine feet, yeah, and then yes. um, by the fourth game, by the fourth game, yeah, yeah, by the fourth game, I think my high road was high road, yeah, by the fourth game, I was standing at about. 30, 31 or 33, I can't really remember, around there. I, I remember I was totally on the left side, like, and then I was going down, like, third arrow, and then my ball was going out to five board, and then coming back in, because it's it's quite dry on the, on, on, on the outer area. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're so saying down the arrow, so around, you're, around you're here, uh, so all the way to five. Yeah, so so I I I think with my I mean um you you will know about my um I my IQ uh yeah. you know the IQ I know I, I was I was going at about uh I was going at about twelve twelve board I think around twelve board um about twelve board to out out to about six. So I was trying to every time I hit eight bots, it will snap and it will um go very high. So I had to send the ball out to about five bots. Always constantly send out to five bots. Um but then as I start to move in and the lane start to dry out um at about third game, then I swap over to high road and then I just stayed there. Um yeah, stayed stayed with the high road and then move left slowly, creep left, creep left with the high road. Yeah. Um, because outside was too dry already. Yeah. Yeah. So this middle road is a very interesting pattern because it's easy but not easy. So I've been mm. it's also we I I play this on my Tuesday night league. Mm. Yeah. So you are playing it on yesterday was Wednesday. Wednesday. Where or which which centers, centers, uh, which, which uh, centers do they all the same do? I think it's the same center. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, CSC. Center. Yes, yes. Yeah, Center. Which CSC? Yeah. Tensor Oh, Tensor Son CSC. Yeah. So they yeah. all this one, uh, quite. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. So you will see the ball like rushing like mad at, at, at the back end. It rushed like mad. Uh, even yes. with my even with my high road. Uh, I mean, you, you you my my speed is not that high, but you can see like the ball wants to turn very sharply. And go into the pocket like yeah. it's crazy, yeah. 
So that's why I I after after bowling there for some time, I made a very good uh observation. And this oiling pattern suits a kind of ball that a lot of people don't like. Or they are not adaptive to it yet. Durative right. balls. <laughs> so yeah. but uh, purple hammer will be a bit too strong, too aggressive yeah, for this too strong, oiling yeah. condition. So my my ball the same you or some others they brought like peach black. Yeah. Uh UC three will be too strong, too but strong. that can be the starting ball. Yeah. So I use my fame you and it's good. It's very, very good. Fame you, I can play outside, I can play middle, I can play left. Even um just last weekend there was a fun ball there. I almost struck perfect game. So Ooh. with with the fame you playing the middle middle area. Yeah. When I, I tried, when I, I submit, I was standing times. already. Mm. I tried a few times with yeah. my routine ball um, as the first shot down the lane. Um, I think it, it's it's very controllable uh, when, when it comes to the routine ball, but it will become quite tight. You only have a fixed, pretty much small area la, to play. Yeah. You're, you're only playing about um, uh, around around like 10 to like like about, about, about eight, eight, 8 to 10 bots like the break point. Um if you go any further out, the boss not gonna come back in. If you if you you know if you send too far out, you send too too much to, to the left, like a bit diagonal, uh you probably will get you'll probably will get the hit pin. Uh. So um yeah, my, yeah, it's, it's around there, like, it's around around eight to ten bots, I guess. Yeah. My UC three comes back even when I send out to five. Yeah, UC oh, three is okay. different. Yeah. <laughs> UC three is different. My, my is above 10, all. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends uh, on what ball you're talking about. My, my ball doesn't have a strong core room. So UC3 is different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, UC3 is different. UC3 is basically, yeah, you can send to the five, so come back. It's one of the god balls. It's not a goat, but it's a god. You, you want to scroll in and see the... You want to scroll, scroll in and see... Which uh, ones? This, um, the oil volumes and, and everything. Because if you uh, look at it... Like, I mean, on actually, the screen is shown, la, but you guys can't see yeah. it, la, but it's actually shown on the yeah. screen. Okay, so, so what happens is that the oil volume is not that high. Uh, yes. the total volume is only like like twenty four, uh, yeah. millimil. Um, yeah. So it's it's not that high either. Um, and they only if you look closely, right? They they write that the reverse, uh, brush drop only goes down to thirty seven lah. Although the oiling is thirty nine, so pretty much um you get a little bit less oil when it's between thirty seven to thirty nine. So um you you pretty much you have to aim like. Your your break point is going to be at like about five six spots. Uh. you can't you can't really use a thirty nine minus thirty one kind kind of idea to aim for eight because it's going to cross. Yeah, plus plus I think the back end is really clean at that center. Um, yeah, I, I don't know I don't know what happened after COVID. I haven't bowled there since COVID, so 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 something <laughs> must have happened. Um, so that's what I I think after I took away from yesterday. Uh, yeah. But reverse brush drop is always less than the oil pattern distance one more. Correct. Yeah, yeah it's, always, yeah. it's always less. So having it at 37, I would think it's actually quite a long reverse brush drop. And most reverse brush drop is even less than this, right? Mm. If you compare with like the, the length of the feet. Yeah, so that so I think the re having longer reverse brush drop, I think means that the oil is even slicker. Yes. It means the ball will go even further. Like, so actually having it at 37 feet instead of having it like maybe 32 feet or like 33, 34 means like the ball is going to push here longer. Yeah. But once that like you mentioned it hits the back end, it's going to, since yeah. it stores all the energy from being pushed down by the oil, so it the all the sort of energy hits the back end and the back end, you just, just, choo, just go like that. Just snap. So, the observation yeah, I saw... If you play like third to, I think if you play like the third or fourth arrow, that's that's still it, it will still bring down the ball quite easily la. But if you yeah. if you stay quite on the outside, um, if you are like a you know very down and in bowler, you will see a bit of difference ah. Uh. Yeah, because there's very little volume on the outside man. So if right, you right. yeah here is there's very little on the outside. So when you hit the outside, yeah the ball is there's no oil, but so the the all the stored energy is gonna snap. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's very snappy. Yeah, this oiling pattern, I uh, key thing that I observed uh, was that for lower ref bowlers, they tend to stick on the outside. Then they slowly migrate in until just barely reaching the third arrow. Yep. That's on the, for lower ref and lower speed bowlers. But then, like for ourselves, the two-handers, 
we we start off immediately at 20, standing at 20. Then we start to chase left really early because there's only like very limited oil volume there, which is 20, 24 mils, which most of it is chucked in the middle. So yeah. by your game four uh, of the league, if you are not far left enough, you are going to hit a lot of over-unders, a lot of extra mm -hmm. other track lines. So that is one of the key reasons why I switched down to use to just bring my, uh, my urethane ball because urethane balls are pretty good for short oil patterns. And short oil, low oil volume, this this makes it perfect. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so that your urethane, it hits, even it hits the low oil volume or the outside, it doesn't snap, right? So it gives it you like snap. a more controllable back end. Yeah. Yeah. So on my field shot, I, I release it so good, but in the end, I think it uh, just a little unlucky that I, I got the stone 10. Oh, then you got 299. Yeah, it cost me a perfect game. Otherwise, wow. Oh, yeah. on, this, on, on, on this oiling? Yeah. So it's a very easy oiling pattern if you use a urethane ball or mm. if you plan your game early. Because yeah. like my my urethane ball, I was standing at 25 and just the normal 15-10 uh, lay down. But when I was using my summit, I was standing at 37. Mm. 25 standing at 25 versus standing at 37 just imagine that it's a huge 12 watt difference mm. yeah the 15 10 15 8 no issues but for summit i had to stand at 35 37 sending it way right to about seven five to seven board and let it get it in yeah that means for summit you have to play actually deeper than sending even further to the right yeah, yeah which is unless i re adjust my release to put um the release is a little bit lesser rep yeah more more roly line if you adjust the release but it's yeah it means if your summit actually gives you less room for error because since you cross so many bots it's a bit yeah. more harder to control right because but the the summit holds up yeah. pretty good um yeah because that the ball summit is... held up pretty good like <laughs> even the, ball is... the masters i had yeah. this last time Last night, my in the Masters, the League Masters eight game series, it's the the Envoy machine oiling, forty five feet, and they double oil it, double oil the lanes. Oh, my they, double oil, they make it pretty thicker, good. Yeah, it held up better than average. Mm, yeah. So this so my gem definitely held up the line. Mm. Yeah. So you're talking about the Katip League Masters, right? The Wednesday <laughs> one. So there is forty five feet. Yes, 45 feet. And yeah, so for that one, the summit held up pretty good. But by the end of the night, I was standing at 35, 37, releasing it down. But I was playing with the ball speed. La. So the ball speed was easily going at 26, 27k. Uh, so you throw it a little bit faster than what you normally do. Because yeah. you're, like, the average, usually you throw it like 24, 25, right? Yeah. But the summit ball, because it's, it goes, it's really, it loves. Uh, speedy bowlers uh. it's a speed dominant kind of ball mm, because they are strong but right? you mentioned that it's actually it has a strong back end because yes. the the RG I remember the R, RG RG 246 yeah 246 so it, yeah it's actually a really strong ball 246 and high differential mm -hmm. as well so it's definitely designed to come yeah. back mm. so you wouldn't have to worry about the ball not returning you just got to make sure that you send it far right, as right as you can, and let the ball do the job for you. Yeah, mm. but I'm pretty excited about the hammer height, a hammer vibe. Yeah, neon, yeah. Or neon yellow, like neon, neon, neon vibe, neon yellow. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I was also gonna talk about like uh, what what are the no other interesting balls. Right? Is it called the radioactive? The radioactive vibe. Just radioactive vibe. Yeah. Radioactive yeah. Vibe. It's a neon yellow. Yeah, uh, radioactive vibe. Uh, it's it's um. I, I think vibe belongs to the lower end side side of things. Uh, mid, mid range. Uh, yeah, low. Uh, mid no, no. If you pick the balls and see right, um, it actually falls on the. But but the differential is, you know, the the origin differential is, uh, pretty decent. Um. Mm hmm. For fifteen pound is two point five one. Yeah, zero point zero four two. Yeah, it's actually mid range. Yeah, mid range ball. I wouldn't but say you, it's see that, you say that the link condition is for light to medium oil. Mm. So it's it's um 
something that uh something you know, I don't know, maybe something to cover lah. Yeah. Yeah. The the core the the vibe core is generally not as strong, so that's why they will put it on the like light oil kind of ball. But personally, I feel like to, for me, it's a mid range ball lah, for for my ball speed. Yeah. Because I can't use anything that's too strong. But yeah, I can see like for people who are you no know, very high ball speed, yeah, probably because the core is not as strong. I know that the core is definitely weaker than like the IQ Ruby core and stuff like that. So it's weaker Actually, than you, you yourself. You have the vibe, right? You have the blue I have vibe. The blue vibe, ocean and vibe. I have a uh, yeah, the ocean vibe and the yeah. IQ Ruby. So if I were to yeah. compare, uh, I think both of them, I gave them the same layout. The IQ Ruby is a little bit stronger, um, but I think it's because of the core. If I'm not wrong, I mean it could be the cover also, like, The the, the Ruby IQ cover could be stronger also. The IQ is strong. <laughs> IQ Ruby. Yeah, is but the, if you compare your ocean vibe to this radioactive vibe. Where will you, where do you think you will stack this above or below? I don't know, like, I need to see the stats. <coughs> uh, hammer, oh shit, two five one, like bowling ball, two five one, oh five one, right? But the stats should be the same, right? Because hmm. the stats is just the ball one, ma. It's the same it's CT the reactive, but this is a C, uh, this is CT <laughs> reactive, uh, something, yeah, then the uh, ocean part is CT reactive, reactive. yeah. Right? So it's yeah, like the, the well. stats have no difference because of the same core. So the yeah. problem now is... There's a question of the HK22. How, how does it affect the CT... Hey, this is a solid ball, eh? Because... It's a solid reactive, eh? Yes, the vibe yeah. is a, uh, the yellow... Reactive, yeah, the yellow vibe reactive, reactive eh? on a uh. CT reactive max. Reactive max. I So this the one I have is, is ET pearl. reactive plus. Ocean vibe ah. is full. You do it earlier, lah. Probably read, read yeah, so you were like, hmm, so it one gives a very different one should roll in. Hmm? It gives a different ball motion already. Then that okay. means it will it will be a lot more controllable a lot earlier. Mm. So it's I think because I don't know like I, 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 yeah, yeah like this. They, they also say that the HK twenty two makes the ball looks a bit more polished as well. Yeah, for 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 those with the HK twenty two cover. Hmm. Oh. Looks polish but solid reactive. Wow, well, no, I like, will we'll need to try the Nola, but I probably wouldn't buy a same another bike ball because it will just be too too close to my current lineup. Mm. But we'll say that based on just the solid reactive, I if you just give like a slightly different ball motion, that means you will read earlier compared to the my ocean vibe, which actually goes longer down the lane, which I like like because I my I've lack of ball speed, so I actually want it to go longer down the lane. Yeah, even if you check, take a look at the the factory finish, so what um the this radio reactive vibe is five hundred, one thousand, thousand, thousand five, five. Yeah. Uh, ocean vibe is it ends with two thousand. Yeah, I end with two thousand. Correct. So it's a little bit smoother. Yes. So definitely, ocean vibe will go longer, lah. Like you will read later because it's also per, so it's designed to read later. So the yellow vibe, radioactive vibe will read earlier, lah. Then it gives different ball motion. Like that means it's a bit earlier, maybe a little bit more control, more arcing as compared to the Ocean Vibe. The Ocean Vibe is just like, when I use Ocean Vibe, it's also like not very angular. It's also a little bit arcing, but uh, it just goes like longer before it kind of like arcs. So like this Yellow Vibe will arc a lot earlier. It will start to like curve a lot earlier. Roll, roll up earlier. Like, I think roll up earlier. So, like, I can oh, see myself getting intense with this ball. <laughs> because if I play a line that there's not enough oil, right, then this one, this ball, when it hits, because it of the it rolls out a bit earlier, is higher chance to get flat then. Yeah. I'll probably use this. Like yeah, sorry, you were saying? Mm, Kalin, how yeah, does yeah. the fight compare to the hustles? How does the fight compare to the hustle? Good question. I don't own a hustle. Can you give me an example of a hustle? Hustle, which, uh, for example, the new uh, it's a uh, it's hustle, a rotogram hustle. Yeah, but which uh, hustle? So many hustle. Your, hustle, uh, maybe. Uh, M, maybe your M, uh, the M and M is uh, it's also a polished one. Hustle M M to M M plus M. Yeah. Yeah. So M plus M dash M. Hustle M plus M. Yeah. So that's a uh, that's that's also a polished one. The new one that's coming out uh, this month, I think. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, M dash M. Yeah. Okay. Okay. M dash M. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh, the, 
the numbers are different. The RG is 253. Ah, 253. 253 and 0. 0.03. Yep. You think compare these two? Which which vibe this one? The ocean, the, uh, the ocean radioactive. Ocean. Yeah, so it's you're looking at a two five. So um, ocean vibe is two five one differential zero point zero four two. This so, actually is two five three and differential zero point zero three. So based on yes. numbers, the hustle will go longer, and yeah. and actually like snap less, even though it's a per reactive. Yeah. Based on just based on numbers, are but sometimes I think a bit hard to judge on numbers because the cover can affect it quite a fair bit, also. Yes, I, so myself, I don't know I how strong hustle. it is. Yeah, I have the Hustle USA, so mm. it's all the same VTC cover stock, yeah. but mm. yep, it does not snap, it's a ball that never uh, snaps. Uh, so it doesn't snap. So it's this is very, very, very controllable ball, yeah, yeah. So I would say the, the ocean vibe will be more angular, no? definitely. Uh. Definitely more angular yeah. than the Hasa M to M. So Hasa M to M can play straighter. Mm. This I think this definitely that's also the new release. Yeah. You, you yeah. see this also the core, the core the same across the weights. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Two five three, two five three, two five. Two, um, I mean slightly different now. Uh, Fourteen pound is two five five, but the yeah. differential is exactly the same. Yeah. I think maybe Storm come up with some new technology to keep their uh, core shape the same eh? it could be some new engineering techniques that they have obviously proprietary like they probably discovered on their own so that they can keep the same core shape throughout the 14 15 16 pound weight class yeah yeah so, so i mean then, 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 so a, a bunch of new uh, 900 global balls like the zen um zen go label the eight 801 reserve and then there is also the exponent 701 reserve zen go label yeah now the global zen go label 801 reserve yeah that's the pearl pearl of what it's a pearl ball pearl zen, oh, pearl zen. like they're also saying that uh probably uh um rtx uh, rst4 RST, RST. Oh, I think the news came out, out um, like, 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 um, yeah, in, I think it, overseas, it's an overseas ball, um, overseas. R, RSTX ball, but don't know whether yes. you will go to US, uh, whether the RSTX ball ready. is a Korean ball. Yeah, RSTX, yeah. So, RS, sorry, R, so, RST. So, what's, what's the new one? RST, I, I, four. yeah, X4. 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 Oh. Yeah, four, it's a new one. It's not really new. That is, that is oh, but it's not, yeah, already. <laughs> well, we're bowler smart, so bowler smart probably will give better stats. Yeah, it's a OEM Korea. Yeah. Hmm? Mm. But this color looks familiar. Eh? I've yeah. seen this color before. Night road, uh, night road. No, as in, looks similar to another RST. Uh, X2? RST X2. Yeah, it looks yeah. very similar, right? Yes. I remember the X2 is like this blue. color. Side of things, uh. yeah. The X2 is a little bit closer to purple. Purple, uh. yeah. Oh, this one is probably more blue. Uh. This one, yeah, maybe a bit more bluish. Yeah. Two five three zero point zero five three. Balls are the core the same. Uh. The core the core is the same. Yeah, the core is the same. Yeah. The cover is different. Uh. Yeah, so you can see that this one, you see, they are not able to maintain the the same core specs. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I mean, quite similar, la, but slightly different. Because there's I more compound added inside. Hmm. 900 tracks. What, what, what's this cover? The 900 Global Zen Go Label. Yes. I don't know whether this website got the stats or not. I don't think they have. I have the stats with me. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, 2249.051. Yeah. Oh, 15 pounds. Okay, okay. This one. Yeah. 249.051 but then it's slightly yeah, earlier it's like. then it's, yeah, isn't it it's as like strong as almost as strong as the summit based on stats because summit is 243 uh, no 246 sorry 24 uh, summit, uh, summit is 246 and 056 so it's the strongest ever created yeah i mean it's yeah but it's and this is 249 but it's only 0.051. Uh, 0.051, but it's quite close. Right? 
close close enough lah. Decently close, yeah. But mm-hmm. the like um we all know Zen balls are uh famous for being long uh, clean. It goes yeah. down really long. And instead of snapping in it it, it just yeah, it's quite different. Like, this is a point reactive as well, right? The yeah, right. Yes. So, yes. so yeah, well, well, summit is. So, I would summit. say this is a special, a slightly different from um the, the normal the original Zen, which is also a pearl. <laughs> the original Zen is a pearl. This one is I would say this is just like um original uh, Zen is a pearl edition kind of stuff. Hey, original Zen, I thought is uh is a reactive. Reactive, oh. Or just Zen, I thought it's solid reactive. No, uh, solid will be the Zen Master. Oh, the, oh Zen Master. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. And actually, I don't have that. I don't see a lot of people using the original Zen. I think it's quite long ago already. Or oh, this yeah, one, yeah, it's very old. But a lot of people are still they're still getting it. Yeah. I might get it also. Oh, still in the market, man. Very yeah, very long ago. Yeah. Still have. Still have. You have. Oh, they also managed to keep the same statue. It rolls nice. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking between. I was thinking. It's I was just really telling. Uh, I was just telling Ihui between Zen and the other boy, right? Ihui. Yeah. So you just have to wait for this weekend. What what boy is coming? <laughs> yes, is it, because Kalin is, is drinking a brand new ball. Yeah. And then he's still. Yeah. So deciding between what? Just waiting for Charlie also. Huh? IQ Ruby. No nah, Probably not uh, buy a new ball anytime mm-hmm. soon. <laughs> so I think the I think the the comparison was um between Zen and uh a hammer ball um the three D offset attack. Yes. Three D so, offset attack. Uh, Offset attack. Um, I need something that helps me and uh, helps me lah, but, but I can use when I want to move for the left. Yeah. So initially I was looking for something. Uh, initially I was looking at um uh what's that called? Exotic uh exotic gem. Exotic, yeah, exotic gem. But uh when I was thinking about it, and then I was thinking, wow, exotic gem is maybe a bit too strong for me for my speed and my ref. Um. So it's like if I get a exotic gem, it might become a, it might become a what's that called? It might become a white elephant, uh, for me. So I need something that I I can just use for league and and you know white control elephant. and you know have a bit of fun, uh. Yeah, I don't want an exotic gem to become a white elephant, right? So you know, um, I say okay, let's let's try lah. Let's try, um, let's try for something, um, because as you can see, actually the the What's that called? RG? The yeah. RG um not yeah, much same different. same differential. Um RG not much differential but... like your the three D offset attack a bit higher. Just mm. slightly higher. But you will see that the third one is relatively quite different. Now. Um it's a 0. 0.008 and the other one is a um uh, point oh Oh yeah, O one six. So oh, you will see yeah, a bit yeah, of a, yeah. yeah. So it, it it it's probably you wouldn't read. But that, that will be your intermediate div. Yeah, intermediate in the intermediate div yes. Uh and then yeah, and then this one is um pearl at fifteen, you know, uh uh what yeah, thousand five hundred. And the other one is also somehow thousand five hundred, eh? Uh, thousand five. This one is, is it thousand five? They never even say. Yeah, yeah. They just say reactive. Micro tracks. Yeah, so I'm thinking that micro tracks actually is relatively strong now. So, uh, you know, yeah, it's it's gonna be early and strong. Uh, I need something to give me the distance lah. Yeah. So same like Charlie, I I don't have much ball speed, so I need something to help me go down a bit easier. Mm. Uh, so yeah, so I I was debating between this or 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 Zen, uh, because Zen, uh, although you probably have a good controllable uh, RG and differential and you know pretty strong now. I, I probably wouldn't go up, go up to submit, um, uh, that strong, um, and also Pearl cover stock right Pearl cover stock, um, as well for the Zen and 
um, and and it's you know, um, it's polished as well. So, so that was that was the factors that I was looking at and considering. Yeah, but then, but it's, then had, but it's a symmetrical though. So the Zen is right. It's a symmetrical. So I need a mm-hmm. little. I probably need a little bit of the kick if I want to move left, lah. You know, move further left. So that's why you're so, leaning towards so, the eight symbol. Yeah. Correct, 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 correct. That's exactly what it is, lah. So that's why. Uh, so okay, let's let's try. So so now even you know what ball going to go. Yeah. <laughs> So the blue know, ball. It's the blue ball. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Whether and 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 apparently they say that mm. uh the core is a very unique core that, that they have been researched. I mean, if you look at the previous offset, this is the second um uh, the second offset. Um the first off the, the first 3D offset um was the, actually designed by Mo uh Mo Pinel. Uh oh. from what I heard. Yeah. So so it was quite a unique um yeah. Quite, quite quite a unique call. Lah. Yeah, without that attack, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll just be, in, you know, waiting to see which yeah. ball you get in the end. So this is the older yeah. one. I think it's it's um discontinued already. Mm. Uh, but this one is solid, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. It's solid. And no, like, it says per. Oh, also per. Also per. No, also, also per. Also per. Also per. So we'll see. We'll see. Mm. But it's I relatively mean, new, lah. You see, very no, popular this, in this Singapore. Two... Yeah. So the the key difference between these two balls are the cover stock. So this one is mm. at the original, um, I call it the new Flex Twenty Five, and then the new one, the new Three D offset is at the HK Twenty Two. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the one of the key difference in the cover stock. But different. otherwise, different. yeah, like I feel, yeah, you know, Brunswick hammer, all good. Yeah, hammer. They also came out with the raw series, which is is like, if I would say, in probably equivalent to the tropical search series. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But we. I think your camera frozen. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, now it's okay. Uh, just thinking why, why, why they they want to discontinue the white mix. I thought a lot. I thought that was a very popular ball for the white mix. White mix, which mix, mix brand? No, the storm mix. Oh, the spare mix. ball. Yeah, storm. yeah, the spare ball. But yeah, yeah. They, I I think they discontinued that. The storm you mix. Can still find it. You can still you can still find. I can still find. But yeah, this but, one. Yeah, this one is uh, a lot of people, a lot of people white like 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 it because it's a pure white ball. Yeah, yeah. I think this is this color. It gets really dirty. Yeah, white ball very easy to get dirty. It gets super really. Yeah. The the mix of white. Hmm. Yeah, very easy to get dirty. Uh. It looks nice until you throw it like for, <laughs> 10, <laughs> for thirty games, <laughs> then it doesn't look nice anymore. Yeah, with the scratches, it looks like a piece of paper with a few scratches and crumpled paper. Oh my god, crumpled paper. <laughs> and yeah. then if you keep it, like, you long using it. yellow. Yeah. So that's that's one of the key things I see that I see week, up, week in, week out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, given a choice, I mean, now that I know, I've seen people use white ball, so I also like stay away from white balls already it looks nice when it's brand new like on the on the rack on display it looks very nice but once you throw it for like 30 and 50 games uh, with the amount of scratches and the dirt and all that then i'm not somebody that cleans it religiously yeah it's mm-hmm. not gonna look that nice i i think the the question uh that a lot of videos mm-hmm. are asking is that um does solid color solid color color balls uh, react differently from those with multiple color balls. Uh, does oh, black you balls actually mentioned does, before, yeah. Yeah. Does black balls hook more or something like that? Mm, black yeah. balls, so my on... opinion, hook less. Eh. Which one? I would feel like black balls hook less. Which color? Black, black. Ah, uh, okay. So, this one earlier podcast, the videos. So, basically, colors, right, it depends, because... Colors itself, they have different pigmentations. 
So, and on the pigmentations, there are different gradients also. So, when it comes to a very aggressive, strong colors, the texture of the, or the, the pigments, right, is actually rougher. So, you get, you always get, like, um, you know, the yellow, orange, red, all these kind of colored balls. Yep, yep. The, these high spectrum ones, they will always react, give you very aggressive reactions. Yes. When it comes to white, black, it will be a bit more gradual. That's why you see, like, pitch black, it don't snap on you. It just goes and just hooks. Yeah, even if you uh, because I mean pitch black is urethane. Uh, so even if we talk about a uh, reactive black ball, so maybe like your coat black, for example, yeah. it's also like quite controllable, quite gradual. You don't see yes. like a lot of uh, black balls like really snappy. The only exception I would say is absolute, which is like quite dark. I wonder if I still have the absolute. Absolute has green and red inside. It looks yeah, like it's green and red. Smart. Actually, it's, it's not. Smart. Yeah, it looks dark lah, but actually, it's not black. Smart. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so, so orange cream soda is definitely going to make this ball react up quite early. Yeah, this 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 ball is quite snappy. It only holds up because of the pearl cover stock, the R two S D. Hmm. Yeah. Correct. So colors wise, yeah. So if you're talking about solid color balls with pigmented balls, yeah. Do you think, I think it depends on the one, color la. Depends on the color. Dark web, dark web. So I think that's like do, dark blue. Dark yes. web. Oh, dark the, web. the, the, dark the web is out what well. brand is it again? Web uh, is it's a Hammer Dark Web. Hmm. Hammer Man? Hammer yes. Dark Web. It's a new, new one coming out soon. Yeah, uh, it's a blue dark blue. blue. Dark blue. Yeah. The web so, was a very successful ball eh? back back yeah. to, in the when the original web. I remember a lot of pros use it and won tournaments with it. So this is more of a mid range, uh, let's say benchmark, yeah. uh, something like a benchmark. Correct, correct. Uh, the was so it's a solid, uh, mm. solid, solid cover. You know, uh, quite a benchmark. Yeah, five hundred one thousand solid cover stock. Uh, two five one o four eight. Yeah, it's a very mid rangey, mid rangey yeah. controllable benchmark ball. Yeah, so like if you look at the colors, it's dark. It's a sol. It's solid. Mm -hmm. and dark blue black so you, you will know that you know these kind of balls will give you the control yeah it's definitely going to go long um it's not exactly going to go long because that depends on the kind of cover stock that is being applied on but then again you know that this ball will not snap up. it you, wouldn't you will not, really you will not snap yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna be controlled movement hmm. excluding all the other factors lane factors lah. so we just put it as in the, the layman wise yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you throw this on a house, it's just gonna give you a very controllable arcing ball motion, which is what people like from the original web. So the original web, I think, was also very dark blue, or black, dark blue or black. I forgot. Yeah, because that was like very long ago. Original web. The original web, I think, is dark. Uh, is black. It's yeah, I remember black. it's very dark color. Uh, hammer web. After web, they had like web 2.0 or something, right? Yeah, like, they had a few yeah. different webs. Oh, no, this was the original, yeah. I mean, they had blues, they had purple, but mostly very dark colors. Uh. This is very, very controllable. Mm -hmm. Oh, because the original was a hybrid as well. Yeah. So it goes, it was even like less aggressive. But yeah, like, so now they, they change it to like a solid ball. Yes. Symmetrical core as well. Yeah, so yeah, very benchmarky ball. This is the kind of ball that I would like, but a bit strong for me. Yeah, it's like if I were to play a tournament like this kind of Singapore Open or that, I would like this kind of ball. Very controllable, very predictable. Then it has a strong enough cover to to read the back end. I, I mean, to, to come back. Like, so to say. You know, like, as in, when we are in, on the topic of the Singapore Open, it's like, wow, man, if if our uh, our viewers, right, if they go back and check out all the videos, because uh, remember we had a, I had a session where I actually tried to spot out what kind of balls will do good for Singapore Open. That was the and, last wow, year one. The, uh, this year, this year. This year? This year, Singapore you, Open. You have a video, man, in your YouTube channel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, on my on the same people. Uh, so that one I I spoke about like what kind of balls will be doing good oh, on yeah, the I think I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah. I didn't see. So maybe you can <laughs> you can tell me. <laughs> ah, oh, okay. Yeah, you just type simply bowling and then you can check out the bowling on the, Sing the Singapore Open Oiling. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yes, on, on, on. Mm. yes. So it's it's quite interesting because I I went down with like I think seven or nine balls, and then I tried it out. So like my conclusion was that like purple hammer would be one of the the urethane balls that is going to dominate the lanes. Yeah, um, right. Usually will yeah. be a bit too snappy. My and then definitely I also mentioned about like stronger balls like the gem. The big core, so like jam, DNA, reality, and all the 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 finals matches, most of them they were is all co qualified by either the purple hammer, oh, yeah. the DNA. Then during the quali the master qualifiers MQs, jam balls were going down a ton. Yeah, so th th this was really awesome. So yeah, and like definitely this Singapore this time around the Singapore Open itself, you need to have ball speed. If your ball speed was not high enough, the ball will the ball will check up very soon. And then that's why if you like when we look at the Singapore Open finals, master finals, the bowlers itself, every time when they slow down the ball speed, they get a split. Then every time when they maintain the ball speed, they get strikes. Mm, but that is think, that always nah. applies to I think all of the Singapore Open Oilings eh? because yeah. uh, personally I feel it's a characteristic of the lane as well for yes. this switch lane right I feel it's like the, the 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 friction on the back end is quite high yeah. so if you don't have enough ball speed right your ball snaps a lot with all this sports oiling with the clean back end yeah, yeah. it's a little bit slicker it's a bit more advantageous if they constantly practice on these lanes lah as yes. compared to as, as compared to other centers as well. Mm, I mean, the, just disregarding practice, uh, but I generally, I feel like I've booked quite a few Singapore points already. It's always been a trend whereby you will need ball speed for that particular, for any oil pattern that they put there. But most of the time, they will put medium oil patterns because I think the friction on the lane is so high that they don't dare to put short patterns. If they put short patterns with such a high friction surface, nobody's going to get to the pocket. I think they have probably yes. tried before. They, they have the national bowlers probably struggle. <laughs> so they know yeah. that, oh, I we cannot put short oiling pattern on, on this lane. Yeah. So they yeah, only surprisingly put... this year there's like quite a number of perfect games that came out. Yeah. I mean it's oh it's, yeah, it's but every year also got quite a number of perfect games. Normally I uh, we see about two, two to three. Oh, more than this, that. Oh, right. this year had about four, five, right? there's two four. in the MQ possible. Yeah. But, yeah, no, 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 more than definitely more than two. I remember like every Singapore Open because it's always been similar length, yeah. so the characteristics have always been the same. You, you will need ball speed, definitely. Yeah, I it, think it's more of the lane Yeah, yep. So your predictions came true. Purple Hammer, very yeah. dominant ball. The male open, you mentioned that the, the male open, uh, what's his name again? The 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 Filipino no, bowler, right? The Filipino is Zach. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So no. he won with the purple hammer, right? Yeah. So mm. he was playing right of um Ziana Pon. Pon. Yeah. Then the, for the ladies, so Sin Lee Jin used the DNA and she won our lady, our female bowler, which she was using uh but also using the purple hammer. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh our fin the final is also using purple hammer? Just yeah, our, the... our female player she was using the purple but then um yeah just just lost to our to, to sin legion by uh, i think accuracy wise i guess because sin legion has really won a singapore open three times mm. yeah, back to back so now she's like four time four time singapore open winner surprisingly it's not in the archive like i wonder why Set ladder. Do, 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 do. Hmm? Hmm? Did they not name it correctly? I don't know why it's not in the archive. It should be the. This is. With no weapon. Uh, with um, really? yeah, that's... yeah, this is semi quarter and semi. This is quarter and semi only, right? 
but it looks like it looks like it though this is the final i think they didn't name it properly yeah so this was the final because sydney yeah. won two matches right so she beat shayna in the semi yeah this was the final yeah so was... no, actually i i'm i'm not trying to hopefully i don't sabotage the the person doing the streaming but i hope they could actually you know set up better angles yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean i i agree to the um, but the um, how shall i say the because i've seen how they do it so they put like the tripod right it's a yeah. tablet so they use like uh ipads i think they yeah. use ipads right the stream so they're using like a tablet stand so but the way that they place it right they place it like too far away yeah like, too far behind because this i i there's always a table here so the table is permanent they cannot move the table so they could either place the stand on top of the table but I feel like they should place a stand like in front of the table. Oh, 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 they, the, 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 the table can be adjusted. The, the fan is right. Hmm? Like the, you see, there's a fan behind the wall, right? So, this one. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that they should place it where the fan is, lah. Basically, yeah. in front of the pillar. Correct, correct, correct. Mm. Because the fan is uh movable anyway. Yeah, and the table is yeah. actually movable also. The table they can movable. Move the bowling balls and they can shift the tables away. Oh, then you should have shifted the tables away. The, the chairs, the benches, the tables, everything can be shifted away. Man, small. You mean the big tables, ah? Yeah, the standing tables. Bench. Is it this one? What does I mean? Are you looking for the They they didn't change the name, so it makes it very hard to to find it. Yeah. No, this one I don't think so. I mean, is that, you know, this is a final. That's right? the that's Zed. That's the finals, uh, yeah, Z versus Yanapon. Versus Yanapon, yeah. yeah. Right. So but based on the, the, yeah. the interesting fact is the interesting this time around is that both contenders the um they won the challenges match, and then then they yeah so they they won two matches to win the title. Oh yeah, that's you're right. Huh? so both the men and the the female. Is yeah, won by the, the 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 came from the, the challenger, pattern, yeah, the, 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 the challenger, yeah, yeah. It's, I would say it's an advantage also because they ha they mm. have actually a little bit more lean time, their body mm. will be a little bit more warmed up. Hmm. But you mentioned it's also. I mean, for 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 Zach, it was uh, you felt like it was the purple hammer, right? The choice of using the purple hammer yeah. to play right of uh, Yanapon, mm. so it causes the carry down actually give him a lot of issues. Because when I mean, we see the in the videos, then so Yanapon can't miss. The moment he just miss a little, he splits. Yeah, and and um, the one sitting behind Zach is actually the Filipino Yo. coach, uh, yeah, Joe Sowinski. Sowinski, yeah, but I think he's based in US, uh. Yeah. So um, this is quite yes. this this as you can see Zach here. Right? I mean, I've seen Zach in action and 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 spoke to him before. Um, because he's from one of the academies, uh. he's based in Singapore for for Zach. Um and and this is quite usual for him that you will see that I I mean it's probably everybody's different like, but for him upon release there's quite a little bit of a movement now uh, yeah yeah he's always his his whole body is like, to, like playing like what uh, a little bit twelve hmm? twelve ten right oh this is special you special yes. yeah this is special yeah. But I remember like uh it's playing like twelve ten. I'm table is blocking. You can you can just fast forward a little to the left lane when he's bowling at lane seventeen. Oh yeah, yes. This one. Okay, this one. Ah, the coach. Then you gotta ask Joe to move the side. Yeah, Joe's hit big hit, they're blocking. <laughs> Come really on, blocking. Joe. Joe is really coaching on the side, you know? Coaching right. <laughs> Can't really so, see anything. So he's standing about twenty. He's sliding to around 27, 25. Yeah, I really can't see. Yeah. Uh, okay, like this one, like this one, a bit earlier. Yeah, yeah he's around, around 25, 27. Yeah, 25. His ball rolls through right. third arrow? Sally to the right of the arrow? Yeah. Quick point looks like about 10. 10 eh? Yeah. So yeah. probably like 14, 10? Somewhere around there, 15, yeah. 10, 14, then 10. You can just fast line. forward it to see uh, Yenapon's his line. Yeah, Napon. Then it's pretty interesting. Okay. Oh, good. 
Yeah. So Yanapon came off a strike. This is game one. Mm. Yeah, at this stage it was like all square, right? Still but pretty squared up. So yeah. as in as in the scores were like exactly the same. So you can see one six nine, one six nine on both of them on like frame seven. Then they both have a strike on frame eight. Yeah. Eh? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Same. Yeah, so correct, both correct. are the same. Yeah. So this is where disaster struck, right? For Yanapon. I, I I didn't watch both finals, so I actually don't know. I was standing there watching both both sides. It's crazy. It's amazing. I don't know what's the what's the rule for the coaches, uh? like, like like how near can the coaches be on the bowlers area? And, there's, no, and, there's no, there's no. They don't. They didn't stay. I didn't stay out. He he's probably standing about almost 30, 30, 30 something, right? Or about thirty. Yeah, is that about 34? thirty four? Yeah. Thirty. Around thirty. Thirty. What's this? It's going at about what eighteen. So it's ball lens about. Yeah, we're, we're just guessing here, lah. Yeah, roughly, roughly about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so here is roughly about eighteen, yeah. then breakpoint is fifteen. Yeah, it says he's okay. very less. Yeah, but this yeah, one he he missed, that's right? why you see the disaster struck. Yeah, this one he missed right because this looks like a missed shot on the breakpoint. Yeah. Yeah, like the breakpoint is like if we look at maybe can we see his previous two frames before? Yeah, two frames before you see previous the right. Let's look at his. Okay, let's forward a bit, forward a bit, forward a bit, forward. forward. We should. I think you should go back, back. Go back. Yeah. Two no, frames I mean, before. But the previous one he didn't strike. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, okay. so this one was a strike. Ah. Right? Mm. Uh. Yeah, this one was like, did he miss right? Take a look. Yeah, it looks like I miss right. Eh? No, but then you 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 see. Let it let it run. Let it run. Yeah, it was a light mixer. Yeah, very light. Yeah, light mixer. So, so you can actually so the, the nicer right. strikes for, from Yanapon will be his first two frames. He he opened up with a double. So those two were nice. So it's like if we based on if this was the line they actually wanted to hit, that means he supposed to hit. If you take this oh, line, it will definitely cross the, the purple hammer. Right? Yeah, there is a purple hammer line. 14. Then break point, yellow, also about probably 7. Yeah. So if you just um back uh, backtrack a little to his first two frames, you'll be able to see his line is totally different. Let's go back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the start. Let's look at yeah. the shot. Okay. Very yeah, nice. Very good. We have the very first frame. He has uh, two strikes, right? From, yes, from... he opens up with two. And so now yeah. we have the best angle here. Wow. Okay. Then it's probably yeah. about. So about. Good, right? Yeah. About maybe 19 at the arrows. Yeah. Break point is probably okay. about 10. Just at left of 10. Yeah. Maybe yeah. 11, yeah. Left, left or right? Then I think left of 10, I think 11. So about maybe eight, 19 at the arrows, 10 at uh, 11 at the break point. Roughly around there. So, or like, we can just call it as 2010. Uh, so, you know, yeah. Can we call it easier, a little bit easier? Yeah, 20, yeah 2010. Uh. Mm. Yeah. And it, he got a, a very nice strike. So his, his first two strikes were good. And then while Zach left, I think a 9 pin, uh, pin 9 or pin 10, if I'm not wrong. So Zach yeah. start played. This so one is this mm, right. way more to the right. Like, that's like... Right 12, right. 11 at the arrows, then that is like 6, probably 6, 7 at the breakpoint. Yeah. Yeah, definitely way more to the right. Mm. But, but it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't intersect, obviously it doesn't intersect Yanapon's line, but the issue is that Yanapon cannot miss right. Mm. Because once he miss right, he gets into Zach's line, right? Because yeah, if we, be yeah, if we move to, so you see Yanapon started well, strike, Hit spare, strike, strike, strike. And then it is another disaster. Uh-huh. This this should be another disaster shot. Yeah. Yep. Center. He missed just a bit left. He didn't like that shot. The yeah. moment he released, he didn't like it. He missed a bit left. Yeah. Uh, at the break point, la. he hit his arrow, but he missed a bit left at the break point. Because I believe he knows that he can't miss right. Because it, it will definitely over intersect the, the proposed line, the carry down. Mm. 
Yeah. And a lot of people are still, actually, I would say the whole, the world is still trying and adjusting how to play the, uh, adjust to the, the European carry downs. Yes, it's but not what ball is uh, Yanapon using? You remember? I can't remember. It's a square I, ball, the stripe ball. It's just a black color, a dark dull ball. Yeah. Oh, looks like... No, no, is it European or not? Nah? No, it yeah. shouldn't be. Yeah. Uh. I don't this think so. the way the ball recovers. It... Yeah, I don't think it's European. Prob I don't know. Probably some some mid range reactive could be a. Is this, are they sponsored by Storm? It should be, but you, you wouldn't be surprised that he's using he's hooking the lane using a pitch black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could he can do that too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he's so he's a very seasoned bowler. He's, so he yeah, understands it's very versatile. Well. But it doesn't but just need a, an extra pair of eyes to remind you, hey, you know, you got to avoid this this line. You got to try to do this, do that. And mm. at their level, at this this world stage, they are able to avoid to play to avoid. Yeah. Mm. And and um, Zach is only eighteen this year. I think doing his A levels. Philippine got A level, man. Huh? No, Singapore. Singapore? He's in Singapore now. Hey. So he's yeah, studying he's in, in Singapore. Uh, Zach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he lives in Singapore. Uh, Zach, Zach is uh, with one of the CO, uh, CO, COEs in Singapore. Yeah. Um, um, he, I think he still, he's in one of the JCs, lah, from what I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so, doing so, his A level. So, he's so, Filipino by so, blood. <laughs> But he's Singapore. So technically, a Singaporean won the Singapore Open. Technically, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I've, I've seen him. I, I've seen him bowling since like what 20, 20, 2018, 2019. Uh, so, okay. so since it was like not, a not, not, not but, yeah. but but I've I've you know I've seen him bowl. Uh, and yeah. So and I, I think I spoke to them like his group of friends quite recently. And yeah, I mean they are they are they're, because they are all in the same school lah. So J J C one J C two. So he's probably he's probably J one or J two lah this year. You eighteen know, is J two. Right? Yeah. yeah, eighteen J two. But you don't know you, you you I mean you don't know I mean I can't you don't know we can't really tell whether is it like do you have to stay one year or what lah? I I don't know what where is the status yet. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's around, definitely it's J one or J two lah. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anyway, but, but there's an interesting fact about the coach. I mean, I don't know if anybody mm. knows uh about about. I mean, I don't know how much of the viewers knows about the coach uh Joe Sowinski, right? Uh, mm, yes, Joe Sowinski. Uh, actually, one of his uh, main pages is "Drop Your Damn Shoulder." Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the name of his page. Drop your damn shoulder. That's in D D Y D S. Yeah. But his page as in what? Um, I, I think that um his Facebook his, website. his Facebook uh, website or something. Oh. Yeah, if you if yeah if you look for uh DYDS drop drop your damn shoulder, that's by him uh, because he, he is telling people that you know for you to bring your ball closer to your body, you should you know you should relax your shoulder and drop drop your bowling shoulder. Yeah, yep. you don't you don't hold it like like a balance straight, right? You should tilt it a little bit. Uh, when when you're bowling, yeah. so um. I agree. I agree. I think, the, I think all, all coaches that, around the world agree. Just that, I mean, if you're a casual bowler, just that you're not aware. <laughs> but I think all the coaches will all agree that they yeah, drop the, the shoulder. And it's, Joe is also quite well known in the two ender community ball, being one of the first uh, coaches to have some online content for two handers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's one of the first ones. Yes. Yeah, and, and he has, uh, if, if you go to his page, he will show you about uh, quite a lot about biomechanics of, of um, you know, the body structure, how, mm. how, how you place your ball, uh, which gives you, you know, the best rotation and things like that. Uh, true, on, on true, his, true. Uh, yeah. Page. yeah, Joe yeah. is also well known for being a biomechanics guy, true. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's helped a lot of people improve uh, the physical game. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and you know he's he's already coaching for like twenty eight years. So twenty eight years, uh, he looks quite old already. He's a he's a USBC Go coach, I believe. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but only only twenty eight. I mean, I would assume he's coached longer. 
Twenty years doesn't look sound that long. Yeah. So he he's he's pretty well decorated also though. Hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, he's. Super I mean, have, I, I, I'm not sure if he has been the U.S. national coach, right? I mean, he gone around to different countries, but I'm not sure about. I'm not too sure. As national coach, I don't. I, I don't not, think not so. Sure. I don't think so. The I mean, the U.S. national coach is the Ron Hoppy, right? Like he's been the U.S. national coach for like many years. So it, like maybe more than ten years. The old guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hopper or Hoppy or some something like that. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, I know around, yeah, yeah, very very nice. Yeah. As in the very soft spoken old man. So this was this the, the Shirlene versus Cindy Jane. Yeah, but Shirlene's game looked very uh classic of uh, I think many of uh, the current female bowlers. Um, if you look at the younger female bowlers, I think it looks pretty similar. Yeah, as in she. What do you mean by most classic? Like most like, ultra talk style? Is it? Yes, yes. I I mean I think the 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 younger generation uh, the younger generation of the NDS. Uh, Bowlers, um, based on based on the Singapore teaching uh, coaching system, uh. Yeah, Shirley, you mean? Yeah, Shirley. Yeah. So you look at look at how she takes on this shot here. Uh, frame number eight, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Using yeah. purple. Yeah. So it's it's a very good one of the, the nicer shots that she executed what uh that night lah. But this one, it looks like it should play a bit deeper, right? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this one should cross like 16 at the arrow set. Yeah. yeah. And, and really she had good ball speed. So you see, when it entered the pocket, it's yeah. really it's a flush shot. Then yeah. with the previous one, I think she played a bit more to the right lane, on the right lane. Yeah. Miss right. Looks like almost like 16 to 8 or 9 or something. Right? Yeah, correct. Not so there. Sixteen. There. This one, like the right, yeah, straight away, right, right. Really. Yeah, this, this is what looks like it's going 13, to thirteen at the and arrow. If, yeah, but still, if you look at the look at like, the ball yeah. speed is actually slower. It was yeah. way slower. Yeah, way slower because she probably did some uh foul line correction. Huh? Yeah. So if if the ball speed was a little bit re uh, relatively slower, then she's gonna play into. Her ball is going to roll into the into Sin Lee Jane's line, which mm. is a, using the DNA solid ball. So mm. then it's the drive, and then a urethane ball is going to check up harder. So, mm. so being a purple hammer, strong pearl is definitely going to react a lot or un under in, in, her, in her case. Yeah, I would feel like Yana, I think you mentioned this before, but Yana Pond should have used a stronger ball, right? Yeah, like Sin Lee Jane. Yeah, Sin Lee Jane, man. Mm, the strongest uh, ball. Uh, I mean, in the current market. Yeah. yeah. And, and Legion is very, very accurate. So everyone oh there, you can see she's locked in, man, from from her contenders match all the way up, the challengers match all the way. She never lost the, her line. Oh, look at her line. Playing nice, quite, nice and easy. Yeah, quite far to the right. Huh? Yeah. She's playing she's like very... a 9 9, something like that. Like yeah. so almost second like arrow straight down. Like. Yeah, she just left, but then she's very consistent, very well balanced, and her, her arms are all very well extended. Mm. So it, it just gives her all the increase, all her accuracy, the rev rate, everything is there. Look like it also looks like good ball, good ball speed so, control. So this is like the rare case whereby the reactive ball is playing to the right of the urethane ball. Yeah. Is yeah, it so because she, um is it because uh Shalin like like uh Shalin moved too fast? Too fast left or what? That one we wouldn't know because those will be the the decisions of the of herself and also the coaching team. Yeah. Um, Jane, Jane actually moved. <laughs> she missed. Yeah. <laughs> she missed one point. She arrow. really won. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. At right. this point, frame nine. That's true. She's she really, really like thirty over. So she, she's definitely she's really in control. Yeah. She was just cruising through the game. Keeping making sure that the ball stays on the right side, hooks into the towards the pocket, and she can just cruise to win. But it looks like from that shot, she has quite a fair bit room room for error. Like she missed yeah. one ball left, but it's still pocket. Yeah, 
but it left her the solid 10. Solid 10, but it's still pocket. Right? So it's like yeah. quite quite a lot of room for error. If you can miss one board at this level, it's quite a lot already. Yeah, she's one of, I think she's, I would easily classify her as one of the top 10 female bowlers in the world. Oh yeah, of course. You look at her consistency, look at how nice, how stable the the, the roto grip spare ball goes down. She just said she either for family reasons or like sponsor reasons cannot play in the PWBA. If you can, uh, she'll dominate. Uh. Yeah. I mean, not say dominate, uh, but she'll be like one of the top contenders uh, every week. Yeah. Yeah. You see the way she like um, before, so in, in the semifinals, she was pretty like a bit more serious. Mm. And then now yeah. this is the last game. So she's really, she's really in control. So she's more relaxed. Yeah, and then definitely. leaving our our bowler here, having to try to strike out to have even any chance to force her to close. Yeah, the, I mean this this match gone. We fast forward. Uh, this, hey, this is game two already. Yeah, uh? oh no. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh that was game. Uh, yeah, that was game two already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the game two she was already in control. Her semi-finals, well, she 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 was a, an absolute beast. She was bowling like oh, 250 yeah. average. Correct, correct. I, I think I, I saw the semi-finals match. Then I saw like, wow, she was like so far ahead of Shayna. That yeah, was uh, somewhere here, right? Yeah, yeah 255. Yeah, she was 194. Like, 194 is not a bad game, but 250 mm, is a monster is game. Monster game, man. Yeah. Mm. Last night, the Masters at Khatib, Benjamin Ang dominated from first game to the end. 250 average. Thousand nine nice. series. Yeah. Eight games. Uh. Eight games. Mm. Eight, eight monster games. Was he bowling one-handed or two-handed? His usual two-handed. Oh. No, his usual can be one-handed also. Huh? Yeah, but <laughs> now, as in, he's, he's going with the two-handed style. Oh, for that night lah, because he's, he's, he really can he can choose one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he did good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, then I think we have to wrap up for tonight because I also have to have a early morning tomorrow. So yes. okay, then we'll wrap it up. Um any things you guys want to add? So I'll stop the screen share. Any shout outs, any things you guys want to add? Mm, I'm still open up open for people to come and bowl with me. So under the Simply Bowling Challenge, I still have a couple more shamis to be given away. Um kindly sponsored by this boss SG. It's one of the our local students that's you know trying to venture out something. So I'm I'm supporting them by you know um creating this challenge and anyone that wants to challenge me or to bowl with me and then we can have some like fun dice challenge or or certain certain things then yep yep you, so the you, the recent uh recent one was like no video with his uh, ig follower right one yeah, game one all that. yes so how can people find you if they want to bowl with you yeah. just D dm me on instagram simply bowling yep, they can so find it easily there dm you there yeah. sure for carlin any shout outs you want to do yeah, so I think um, if anybody wants to work on their mental game uh, in bowling, um, I mean, I'm happy to have a chat, you know. Um, you can We can do like a 15 minutes chat about what are the things that might be useful for you. Uh, and then, you know, and then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, to, to look for me, you can, you can look for me on Instagram as well. I think Instagram has my link tree to everything in, in, in the bio. So it's easier to find me on Instagram. Uh, um bowling psychologies um this is the link tree so mm -hmm. if you if you look for my instagram you, you'll find this link tree in the bio um yeah and then um you got everything there i mean um i'm a bit um how do i say like um i do a lot a lot of volunteer work in terms of my volunteering as well because i'm part of i'm also a president of a uh, society a psychology society in singapore so yeah so if anything just just dm me on uh, instagram okay and then there'll be that so thank you guys so we'll end it for tonight we'll see you guys in the next podcast bye bye yeah. bye, -bye.